Well, I hope you guys have your throw up buckets ready because this is absolutely disgusting. What we're going to be talking about here in this video. Now, Fannie Willis, man, an old friend of the channel. You know, we've actually been covering um, the uh, Georgia case against Donald Trump. That should have never happened, by the way. And it may not happen. Probably won't. I mean, Fannie Willis wants this trial to start this summer. Doesn't look like that's actually going to happen. OK, uh, Fannie Willis is a despicable human being. Uh, she took over six hundred and fifty thousand dollars of taxpayer money to give to her lover. And the lover was actually taking her out around the world. Trips on the taxpayer's dime. Now, Fannie says, oh, I paid him back. How do you pay him? Oh, I paid him back in cash. You got any receipts for that? Of course not. Nobody believes that story, man. Nobody believes that story. And lately, man, now, we, now that we actually know that Fannie Willis will remain on this case, at least for now, uh, still waiting on the appeals court to actually um, uh, rule on whether or not they're actually going to take up uh, Trump's appeal to get Fannie Willis removed. But anyway, man, she's been out there. She's been talking about, oh, the train is coming, that kind of thing. I mean, the left man, this is their girl right here. You know, a black woman with no integrity, man. Absolutely despicable, man. Now, Fannie Willis was actually, I believe, in Miami. And boy, let's just say she had a wardrobe malfunction. Yeah, she was actually wearing this um, short dress. Fannie Willis is in her 50s and people that were attending this event, they got shown a little bit more than what they actually bargained for, man. Yeah. I believe um, Fannie is, what, 53? Yeah, people got to see the inside of her lids because, well, her lids are wide open. What, what else can I say, man? <laughs> I mean, Nathan, Wh Nathan Wade can actually verify this, I'm pretty sure. Because, you know, he was busting her up. Maybe she's actually looking for a Nets Nathan Wade. But um, anyway, let's get into this, guys. Make sure you guys like this video. Subscribe to the channel. Become a channel member. Member live stream every single Friday at 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. If you're watching on Rumble, click the join button. Get access to the same thing. So. Here we go, guys. <laughs> Fulton County D.A. Fannie Willis suffers embarrassing wardrobe malfunction while speaking on stage at Miami uh, NAPCO event. And we got some video here and we got some uh, some uh, some pictures. OK, now let's look at um this video right here. Now, in this video clip. You don't exactly see the, the wardrobe malfunction, okay? But she's definitely wearing a short dress. She got her legs crossed, but um, I guess you can't cross your legs the whole entire time. Watch this. To tell the story about Fonnie Willis and the impact that she had in getting them to the next level of their careers. Ooh, no easy questions here. Um, yeah. I hope that the memory uh. that I leave she fought as hard as she could with everything she had in her being to make life better for those that she served. Hey, that was a good one now. And as we close out this one, funny, there are some people in the back who are not quite sure as to why they didn't get into Howard University. And, and normally, and normally it's those rattlers, right? It's, it's usually the rattlers who are confused. The next question is, what do we say to the future generation about the importance of education and the importance of attending an HBCU, no matter where the HBCU is located in this country? But what is, tell them about the importance of HBCUs and especially as it relates to women. So let me say this, um, if you asked me, you know, other than my children, what am I the most proud of? 
it is my degree from Howard University. There, there is nothing that I have accomplished that makes me as proud as that. But the reason that that degree is so special, and let's yeah, I'm I'm gonna stop right there, man. Stopping right there. But Daily Mail actually has the picture. Now there's no nudity, but you definitely got more than what you actually bargained for here. Oh, it says she's 52, not 53. Okay. 52, 53. Uh Fanny Willis is not an attractive woman. Okay. She's not. Um, it says here in battle. District Attorney Fanny Willis accidentally showed off more than she bargained for during a speaking appearance in Miami over the weekend. The Fulton County Prosecutor 52 attended a cocktails and conversation event on Friday hosted by the National Association of Black County Officials in the city's Overton neighborhood. Willis, who has made a name for herself by prosecuting Donald Trump, over claims he conspired to change the outcome of the 2020 presidential election was billed as the special guest at the free event held outdoor held at the outdoor venue, the urban. Yeah. Members of the public were invited for a night of mingling music, cocktails and engaging in thought provoking conversations with the scandal play DA. I don't know why. Anybody's actually giving Fannie Willis time of day. I mean, she's a home wrecker. She wrecked the marriage of um, Nathan Wade. She stole a bunch of money from taxpayers to get a Nathan Wade man. Wow. But anyway, but it was while uh, taking part in that discussion on stage with um, NAPCO president, uh, Commissioner Keon McGee, that Willis suffered an embarrassing wardrobe malfunction captured on camera. DailyMail.com footage shows. And that clip, they didn't show it, but here you are, man. That's Fanny right there. She got a smile on her face. Oh, okay. That's it. You guys caught the clip up right there. I can't look at that. I can't. Maybe she actually knew what she was doing. Maybe she did. Boy. Roland Martin was there, too. Oh, man, that guy's a left wing lunatic, man. He really is. Uh, Willis, who wore a black and white tribal pattern dress just above the knee, at one point fidgeted around in her seat, inadvertently showing off her black undergarments to the crowd. She eventually repositioned herself on the armchair, tucking her ankle behind the other in a parent bid to avoid Exposing herself further. Wow. So. Man. <laughs> I, I just want to vomit right now, man. Oh, I can't do it. I can't do it, man. That's disgusting, man. Fanny Willis is a disgusting human being, man. It just is. Oh, boy. Okay. I'm going to end this video, man, because I'm about to go and um, vomit. I highly suggest you guys go and vomit, too. But that's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white network fans, let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. And we'll catch you next time.